Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how I put together laser engraved tumblers. So let's... All right, so to start off, I am using Lightburn to run my laser. Uh, my laser is the 60 watt black and yellow Chinese laser from eBay. Um, I'll put links in the description as far as what my laser is. Um, and then, I mean, Lightburn is awesome. I use it for all of my laser stuff. Uh, you will see that my logo is sideways. Uh, that's because the way that the rotary axes work in these lasers is it takes place of my Y axis. So I essentially unplug my Y, plug the rotary into it, and now it runs off of the Y axis. Uh, when you come into here in Lightburn, you do have to go to Tools and Rotary Setup. And I'm not connected to my machine right now, but uh, you enable the rotary and then you make sure that your diameter of your object is, is updated, especially for these roller ones. The chuck is a little different. I'm using a roller. Um, the other settings I've already set up, and, and that's something for a different video as far as how it gets set up and what those those numbers are. Right now the only one that I change is my object diameter and that's just the tumbler's diameter. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that, that I like to do and it's kind of something that uh, I got from my buddy Josh over at Wright's Woodworks uh, is this boundary box. The boundary box kind of helps uh, ease the laser into the engraving. Uh, we've kind of found that sometimes it will squish the beginning of the engraving if you just start right on the edge of it and just rail right into the to the logo or whatever it is that you're engraving. Uh, so we put this boundary box around, kind of gives it a little bit of a buffer, a little gap, so that way the uh, machine can get going and then go into the logo. Um, and you'll see that that's a different color than the logo itself, just so that way I can make sure that I'm not engraving that box you'll see over here that the output on the box is not on. It's checked off. Um, so let's look at so my, my laser settings. Um, as far as the speed, I go at 150 millimeters a second at 22% power, both max and minimum. And then my line interval is 0 0.04 millimeters. So that is the, the space in between each pass or each line. Uh, that's nice and tight. Uh, the goal is to have as clean of an engraving as we can. Um, and so you're, you're really just focusing on getting everything cleaned out of that. Um, so those are the settings. I'll, I'll add those to the description as well. That way they're easy to pick out. Then you can also go and before you get going, you can double check that everything looks right in the preview, you know, hitting on that little monitor up here. Uh, so on this, you know, everything that's black is going to be what's showing through the metal of the cup. Um, so the letters in here will actually be whatever color the cup is. Uh, the black stuff is going to be the, the shiny part of the stainless steel underneath. Um, so everything looks good here. Um, this cup is, is for a local business that I'm working on. And I've actually already run one and so I know that everything checks out. Uh, I've noticed that the estimate times on these are almost to the second. Uh, so you could even set a timer on this and say, oh yeah, I wanted to set a timer for six minutes and 44 seconds and it'll be pretty dang close. Uh, so you can actually judge your, your workflow off of that time pretty well. I always go and when I am getting ready to do a cup, make sure I have it lined up right and I got it set up in the right place. I will frame it. Frame it basically just gives you the outside boundary of where the engraving is going to go when you click that button. It'll actually show you on the laser. It'll basically like do a, a dry run more or less. So let's get connected to the laser and let's burn a cup. So these are the tumblers that I am using. Um, I get them from Makerflow, and they are awesome. They come in this nice box, a little bit of plastic on the outside, nice clean powder coating, the nice slide lid, 
insulated. Also comes with a silicone straw and a nice care card. You know, as far as washing, you're not supposed to put them in the dishwasher. They're kind of a hand wash only. Um, cup's really solid. You know, all in all, it looks identical to a Yeti other than it doesn't say Yeti on it. Uh, so this is the cup that we're gonna be using. Uh, so like I said earlier, I know that my cup here is 95 millimeters from the top of the cup down to where the taper starts. Uh, so half of 95 is 47.5. So I just get that lined up right there in the middle. 47.5. Okay, so we're right at 47.5 now. And so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll do my frame. So it's kind of hard to see, but it's rolling the cup and the laser is moving to kind of give me a box of where that logo is gonna sit. So now that we know where it's at, we're pretty much ready to roll. I mean, I made sure that my laser is sitting right in the middle of the cup. Um, and then I've got my spacing that I need for my focal length already set up. And now we just measured to make sure that it was sitting in the middle of my flat spot of the cup where that logo is gonna go. Um, so let's get rolling. Let's burn this cup. Okay, there's that. We'll take it inside and let's clean it up a little bit. Okay, so what seems to work the best that I've found uh, is some alcohol and a magic eraser. You can see this one's uh, been through a couple of cups, uh, but just get some alcohol in there, bring your cup up, give it a good little scrub. Look at that shine. Well, and that's the gist of it. Uh, to get nice clean engravings, just follow the steps that I gave you. Works every time for me, uh, pretty much regardless of the cup that I'm, I'm working on, I've done yetis and i've done the the ozark trail you know stuff from walmart stuff from target uh and then these cups that i get from maker flow which are my favorite um so if you have any questions you know drop them down in the comments uh look through the description for all of my settings and the way that i do things